felt such shame as a leader. And I thought, gosh, if the church knew what I was going through, what would they think? My name's Ali Timms. I'm currently a pastor of a church in Bournemouth. And I just want to share with you something that happened to me in lockdown, which just speaks of the, the goodness and the faithfulness of God in my life. You know, as we all know, lockdown happened and COVID, the pandemic in 2020. I'd lost my business. Um, I'd lost friendships. I'd lost the church as we'd known it. And I was suddenly faced with the reality of my life. And when everything stops, you do have to take a look at yourself. And you're forced, actually, into that, of looking at yourself, unless you distract yourself with lots of things. And, of course, all those distractions are gone, and I was left with just me, my life, and what was going on. And what happened is I, I entered a very dark time where my emotions became very numb. I couldn't, I wasn't able to feel anything. I... I didn't really want to read my Bible. I didn't really want to worship God. I didn't want to speak to people. And it was a very confusing time because that's not who I am. I love people. I love God. And I couldn't make sense of this, what was going on in my life at the time. I remember crying out to God. I was in my special place in the garden, I call it my she shed, because it's a, a place of quiet away from everything else. And I was in there one day and I, and I just said to God, what is this? And the Holy Spirit just spoke ever so quietly into my heart and he said, this is grief and loss. And it sudden, the penny suddenly dropped that for many years, lots of things had happened in recent years. I'd lost both my parents, I'd lost friendships, I'd lost the business now. And I suddenly realized that I'd never really processed the grief and that loss. I'd never really got in touch with my own heart about the pain of all that had happened. And um, a counselor friend of mine helped me to understand that, you know, this was very real, it was very deep. and as she helped me to unravel this, I then went away and allowed God to come and heal that part of my life. I mean, I have to say, I, I had some really dark thoughts in that time. And that's where a lot of the shame and the, the, you know, the guilt came from because I shouldn't have been living like this. I shouldn't have been having these thoughts. So one day I was in my shed and I was just crying uncontrollably and I said to the Lord, I feel so ashamed, I feel so dark, I feel so unworthy. And it was like Jesus was standing right in front of me and I looked into his eyes and he just loved me. He didn't condemn me, he didn't judge me, he just loved me. And it just broke my heart wide open and I just received his love in a whole new way. And I realized shortly afterwards that I'd, I'd hit what is commonly known as the wall, as the dark night of the soul. And we all go through things like that. And, and, and that, it made me realize that it was okay, but the point of the, the hitting that wall was because Jesus wanted to reveal himself in a deeper, more intimate way to me. You know, he worked everything out for my good because he loves me. And, and I think that was the big realization that he, you know, he loves me in my mess, in my dysfunction, <laughs> in my pain and, and the, in the darkness. He was, he was just, you know, loving me. And, and it was his love that restored my heart and healed my heart. 